Today, we're going to be testing out the Akimbo f tac Siege in Zombies. Two of the top meta weapons in Zombies have been the Tears and the WSP Swarms, and both of those weapons are Akimbo. So I want to see if the Akimbo f tac Siege can compare to at least the Swarms. And I don't know how well these are going to do yet, but here's my build just in case you want to copy it or tweak it and make it better, because I still don't really know how to build a weapon in this game. But I got a Tombstone here full of some money and some perks, so let me activate these, throw this in here. We'll throw in a quick ammo mod. Oh, maybe I should have waited to see what this does without an ammo mod oh well looks like it kills tier one zombies pretty fast we're gonna see how well this can do in every tier zone we're gonna fully pack a punch it i'm gonna take it up against a mega abomination and we'll even take it into the dark aether and while we're testing out this weapon we're also gonna be testing out if we can actually get the camos for it because for a lot of mw2 weapons the camo progress has not been tracking for a lot of people but if by any chance it does track the camo challenges we have to do is get 250 kills with it we need 100 kills in the same game with it we need 250 point blank kills and 50 mercenary kills and then once all that's done. We just need to have 100 kills in this game and exfil. So if the camos track, we should be able to get out of here with this thing being golden ivory. Yeah, golden ivory. That's the name for the MW2 gold. But is there any tier two zombies nearby that I can try this on? Oh, we got some right here under the cargo helicopter. Let's see. Can we take out a tier two zombie with this? Um, it's doing a little bit of damage. I think that might be napalm burst doing most of it. But uh, it can definitely take out a little bit of health. Just uh, <laughs> take all your ammo from it. I think we might have reached a limit with this weapon damage-wise without upgrading it. So let's throw this Pack Punch 3 Crystal on it. Let's throw this Epic Aether Tool on it. Wish I had a Legendary to use. But those things do not exist. And it kind of melts through these Tier 2 zombies. And you know what? Since I do have these Golden Armor Plates, I'll throw these on. And we're right by the Stormcaller. Let's go see if I can do anything against them. These are actually Tier 3 zombies in here. And it does decent against them. Not the craziest amount. Actually, I didn't even check to see how much ammo these things have in the mag when pack a punch. Each weapon has 144 bullets, so that's going to be a little bit less than the WSP Swarms, but these are pistols. The WSP Swarms are SMGs, so a little bit of a difference there. And it's not really doing a whole lot to the Stormcaller, but to be fair... There's not really a whole lot of weapons that do very well against it. I think like that the Tomfa is the main one to take it out. But I am completely out of ammo now. You run out of ammo pretty quick with these. Let's fill that up real quick. You also have 500 bullets in reserve before you have to fill your second pistol. So probably safer to refill ammo with it before you're fully out. That way you don't have to waste a bit of your reserve by filling in your second pistol. But let's go try out a tier two bounty. Let's see if we can take one of these down. Give me this. And let's see what we're up against. Oh, a mimic. This should be fun. All right, mimic, come down here. You know what? I'll come up to you. Oh, we already got him half health within seconds. His health bar wasn't even showing up. That's how fast we we're shredding him. Didn't know how to calculate the damage. And he's already dead easy and i will be taking these self revives and another schematic that i don't need i literally just need the elemental pop schematic i think that's the only schematic i still need to get from the three tier zones i need that and then i need the legendary aether tool schematic from the red worm i'm not ready to fight him yet i still got ptsd well let's go get the rest of our perks and then we can find a mega abomination to fight let's grab our missing perks there we go and do we have a mega abomination over here oh we do all right let's call in our dog have him distract the zombies for us and see what this is doing against him. Yeah, shoot your laser, please. Already got a decent chunk of his health gone. That's not bad. Ooh, but he's already chunking us right back. And I'm already almost out of ammo. No, Mr. Mittens. You get out of there. I'll be right back. I need some ammo. Oh, I think Mr. Mittens is taking a beating up there. I still heard him using his laser. Okay, but he didn't take too much health off of him. This is still all us. We already got him kind of close to half health. I really want him to try to shoot a laser at me so he can break another one of his faces. He just keeps trying to bite. No biting. Oh my god, we're already out of ammo. So these things can deal a decent amount of damage, but they are just ammo fiends there's never enough ammo for them i still have a cooldown on this it wasn't even a whole minute before i ran out that's very concerning a huge downside to this gun or guns i guess now you leave mr mittens alone oh he's low health don't you dare kill mr mittens this fight's between me and you pal there we go let me fuck that mouth up bastard leave him alone I still have 20 seconds left on this cooldown. Come on, come on. Come on, ammo cache. 
There's too much at stake. Mr. Mitten's life is, li life is in your hands. Holy shit, English. Come on, shoot a laser. Go for it. He's just stuck on the steps right here. Oh my lanta. Is there ammo in like any of these crates? I'm gonna have to throwing knife some zombies for some. And they're not even dropping any. What are you guys good for? Oh no, he just killed Mr. Mittens. R.I.P. You bastard. I'll avenge you, Mittens. Don't you worry. We're already about to run out of ammo again. Gigantic downside to this gun. Now it's time for you to die. Perfect. Shoot that laser, you little bitch. That's for Mr. Mittens. Thanks for the pack-a-punch one crystal. Damn, dude. That's so disappointing. Because this did, like, an insane amount of chunk damage to him to start. But I had to refill ammo how many times? Like, four? That's bad. That's very not good. I also feel like the game knows when you need ammo as well. So it doesn't drop you any. All right, well, another thing we got to test is these camos. So let's go see if we can get any. I'm going to go do a uh, tier two outlast. And let's hope that we can actually get camo progress. I wish there was a way to like see how many kills I have in the game. It'd be real easy just to look and see if I have 250. But I don't think I got that many making our way over to the mega abomination. So I'm still holding out hope. Because from what I've heard, the biggest issue with not having the camos track is that if you didn't have your MW2 weapons leveled up to whatever level they need to be to unlock those camos before season one of mw3 then for whatever reason they're not tracking any camos oh and speaking of camos there we go that's our 100 kills in it or 100 kills in a game with our ftac siege so it looks like they're tracking for me i think we got these leveled up in uh, mw2 and hopefully it gets fixed soon for those of you that didn't but i'm pretty sure the devs are on vacation right now which they definitely deserve to be on vacation but maybe somebody can you know, hop on a, a laptop or something at home and fix it. Because last week, a new aftermarket part came out for the tiers to make it into like a sniper. And that has been bugged. And I really want to try that out. Oh, and somebody's pleading for help nearby. Do I go for the camos or do I go for the guy? Let's let's finish up this outlast and then we'll go pick him up. Oh, uh, max ammo. That's this weapon's best friend. There we go. Contract is complete. Now let's go try to save this guy. I think he's all the way up in the legacy stronghold. We need to kill some mercs anyway, so we can get two birds with one stone here. What does this do against mercs? This is always a good test. Oh, he is tanking it. Oh, uh, a lot better up close, I'll tell you that. But damn, this is an awful place to go down at. Oh, he crawled to a good spot. I gotcha, buddy. There you go. Hey, 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 hey. Right here, right here. Right here, bud. All for you. Maybe I'll help him out. I'm just gonna kill a few guys. But if he's trying to do the legacy stronghold for his mission, I'll let him grab all the shit he needs. I just need to kill some mercenaries. We're going to war. You don't realize how many mercs 50 mercs is. Like, it don't seem like a whole lot compared to, like, zombies kills. That's taking a bit. At least we're getting, like, an infinite supply here. Oh. Maybe not. Oh, he wants to invite me to a squad? Sorry, pal. I fly solo. Come on. That's got to be enough mercenaries. We've basically taken out the entire legacy stronghold. There's just a few stragglers. Yeah, every single mercenary over here is dead. Oh, wait, there's a reward with for me? Shit, dude. I'll come take that. Ooh. But now I need to find a mercenary camp in fast. There's not a whole lot of time left in this game. There's one right here. Oh, shit. There's actually a mercenary stronghold right here. Or camp or whatever. There we go. Oh, wait, that was just 250 kills. Where's this UAV? Or counter UAV. I need it to go. Get out of here. I need to be able to read what my camos are. Come on. An entire le legacy stronghold and a camp is not enough? Watch this be the camo that don't track. There's our 50 mercenary kills, finally. Now let's just get the rest of our camos before we leave here. Is there any good contracts that we can do? We got a spore contract over here. Actually, you know what? I'm too lazy to do a spore contract. I think this weapon cache will probably be enough. I'll start it up. I'm going to make sure every single one of these kills is point blank. Make sure I'm kissing the zombies when I shoot them. Come on. The contract's about to end and I don't think it was enough. Damn it, dude. I guess I'll do the spore contract. All right, come on, game. Why are we counting as point blanks here? Oh, there. See? Yet again. Bitch about something. And it happens. We need to do a scientific study on this. It's happened way too many times for it to be a fluke. All right, Dark Aether, here we come. Let's toss this bad boy in there. Now let's head on in. Whoa, my dog's back. Holy shit. 
What's up? Oh, it's Chubba. It's like Chubba Hubbard. What a nice greeting. But this trip to the Dark Aether is less about me testing these weapons out here and more about me trying to get some good shit. Because last time I came to the Dark Aether, what, after I exfilled, most of the stuff just disappeared out of my backpack. I don't know why, but I need to get some of it back. I really need uh, some more Elder Sigils or some more Dog Bone acquisitions, especially if they're just going to respawn for me every time I go to the Dark Aether. Let's start up this first bunny. Let's try not to die on the rope here. Clean. But just out of curiosity, it's still slaying these zombies. These elites, on the other hand, taking a bit more damage to take out. Not surprising, though. Damn, there's a lot of fucking zombies. Help me out here, Chubba. And if some of these zombies could drop some fucking ammo, that'd be cool, too. So we're already out. Holy shit. Okay. Monkey bomb time. We're wasting too much time on this first one. And while Chubba's got our mango distracted, let's overload this. There we go. And these zombies drop any ammo at all. Cool. All right, Chubba. I'll see you at the next Aether Extractor. Where'd half the castle go? What the fuck? Okay. New Dark Aether feature. Buildings are invisible here. Uh, only 43 seconds. That's one more down. And we're going to have to use Cashmere's on these. this next one. So we don't got a whole lot of time. Let's do this. Cashmere immediately. And then we'll frenzied just to protect us. Oh, we got it. Easily. Let's go. What do we get out of that? Ooh. That's what I'm talking about. That's some good shit right there. Now let's see how bad we can fuck up this escort. All right, let's start this up. Oh, this brain rotted mangler is about to put him work. We got an army over here. The dog and the mangler. They are decimating the zombies. No way we're already out of ammo. Okay. And I'm stuck in this spot. Perfect. Cashmere, kill him. I didn't think I can kill him. I threw him like the worst possible spot. It's doing nothing. They can't get to the black hole. Oh, fuck me, dude. What a legendary throw. I'm gonna have to mortar strike these guys. Literally 7% health on this. And I got no ammo to even defend it. We're just throwing knife. And they're only dropping armor. I don't need that. Fuck you. Damn it, dude. That's ridiculous. Look at this. Only armor on the ground. Oh, there's some ammo. That escort contract, man. The bane of my existence. Holy shit. They're ganging up on my boy Chubba. Leave him alone. Fuck, Chubba. I think the best thing for us is for me to leave. Let's we'll see if I can get you to teleport after me. Good luck. Let's go. We saved him. Cowardice is key. This last one should be a bit easier. I don't even know if I can start this up without getting killed. Again, no ammo and I got no nades to... Or throwing knives to use. Where's Chubba at? Oh, here's a nade. Let's use it. No fucking ammo out of it. Whatever. Let's stick it. If we go down, it's fine. We still got more self revives. So we need a clear space to bring more stuff back anyways. Now let's just try to survive. We can do a quick outlast in the Dark Aether with no weapons. Easy shit. Oh, there's a nade. All right, zombies. Meet your maker. Oh, there's ammo on the ground. I saw it. We got some. Come on. They're already out. Come on, 90%. Hopefully these zombies disappear after too. Because if the contract don't get rid of them at the end, it's going to be a real struggle trying to get our stuff. Actually, we do have a stun grenade. Oh, uh, it did take them out. Or at least most of them. Fuck it. Eat a stun. Stay back. Give me this. Give me this. Give me this. Give me that. Uh, whatever. That can stay. I'm out of here. Using these tech nines will put you in an ammo famine. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Oof. Oh, and we barely just got enough zombie kills. Oh, that might have just been our Dark Aether kills. Eh, I don't know. It says I got eight mercenary kills in the Dark Aether. I don't think they show up in here. Whatever. Let's see if we keep our stuff. Okay, we did. Let me put this away immediately. And let's make sure that we did get our camos here. What? How did I not get 100 kills in Extract? Oh, that's so lame. I'm thinking this might be a bug kind of similar to what we saw with Golden Enigma earlier into this game's life cycle. Where if you pack a punch the gun or you did whatever with the gun or like when you got all your camos done, you needed the extra 100 kills to get gold. I'm going to try the whole drop it and pick it back up method. And I'm going to go grab 100 kills with it real quick and exfil and see if we get it. If not, then it's actually fully bugged. All right, I am 99% sure I have 100 kills or more in this game. Let's see if it'll give us our camo. So there's a successful exfil. I think I heard it pop up. I heard the little sound. Oh, 294 kills. I might be dumb, but I'm pretty sure that's higher than 100. Oh, let's go. Okay, it just took an extra game. Maybe going to the Dark Aether bugged it out. Or maybe it's just dumb and needed a little 
talking to. All right, well, this is what our FTAC Siege looks like with Golden Ivory on it. It looks pretty decent on it. You know, not a bad looking gun and it does a pretty decent amount of damage, but the whole ammo thing really holds it back by, uh, by a lot. Maybe a good support weapon, maybe a good backup weapon. But going in with just these, you're gonna be scrounging for ammo. Man, I was really hoping we'd find the new meta with these, but the WSP swarms kind of beat these out of the water. The damage on these, like I said, is pretty good, but the ammo is just such a liability, it's not worth it to really use as a primary. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.